Hey there, Benjamin Harvey here, Australia's only two-time BRW award-winning coach. And today I wanted to talk to you about happiness. Now, this is a very broad term, and in order for us to really get into happiness and have a discussion about it, we first have to define what happiness actually is. And there are many definitions of happiness that are out there. In fact, uh, one of the ones I enjoyed hearing once was that happiness is to have good feeling thoughts the majority of the time. I mean, I, I really like that, to have good feeling thoughts the majority of the time. It wasn't, though, until I came across a text that was written in the 15th century, back in the 1500s, by a gentleman called Sir Philip Sidney, that I really was able to grasp very, very deeply what happiness was all about. See, in a book called The Aphorisms of Sir Philip Sidney, written by Sir Philip Sidney back in the 15th century. Inside this book is a very short paragraph that gives one of the best definitions of happiness I have ever heard in my life. And it goes like this. Happiness is a sunbeam that may pass through a thousand bosoms without losing a single particle of its original ray. Nay, when it strikes on a kindred heart, like the converged light on a mirror, it reflects itself with redoubled brightness. Happiness is not perfected until it is shared. So let's have a look at this piece by piece to have an understanding of what Sir Philip Sidney is actually saying here. So happiness is a sunbeam that may pass through a thousand bosoms without losing a single particle of its original ray. So the first thing we have to know about happiness is no matter how many people your happiness goes through, it doesn't lose any power. So that's the first thing to understand about happiness. Happiness can go through a thousand people and still maintain its original power. That's the beauty of happiness. Now the second thing is when it says, nay, when it strikes on a kindred heart, it rebounds itself with redoubled brightness. What does that mean? It means that when you put your happiness into a kindred heart, someone who shares the same values, the same beliefs, the same concepts, the same thoughts, the same feelings. When you share your happiness with a kindred spirit, it rebounds itself with redoubled brightness. What does that mean? It means that happiness doubles in the company of people that are kindred spirits. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty cool emotion so far. And then the last part is the part that I love the most. Happiness is not perfected until it is shared. Happiness is not perfected until it is shared. This is one of the most unique things about happiness. See, a lot of people spend a lot of time sitting at home wanting to be happier. They're really trying to get more happiness in their life, but they're approaching happiness as a solo sport. Having actually suffered through five and a half years of chronic clinical depression, been heavily medicated and hospitalized on numerous occasions, I can fully appreciate the depths of depression. I can fully appreciate the sadness and the thoughts that go with it and the state of misery that people can find themselves in. What I also know is that in order to find true happiness in our lives, we cannot do that alone. We cannot find it on our own. Happiness is not a solo sport. And the thing I love so much about what Sir Philip Sidney says in his book, The Aphorisms of Sir Philip Sidney, is that happiness is not perfected until it is shared. Now, here's the thing. I mean, I've been a coach for 11 and a half years, and I love coaching. And the reason I love coaching, well, my, one of the many reasons, I mean, I love it for so many reasons, but one of the many reasons I love coaching is because every single day I get to share my happiness with others. Every single day, I get to sit down with clients and get them to have these thought-provoking, insightful conversations where they start to reach their full potential, where they start to line up with their values, where they start to really do things that are fulfilling and inspiring to them. And in doing so, I get to share my happiness with kindred spirits and have that happiness double. So if you're looking for the happiest occupation on earth, you're not going to find it at Disneyland. I believe the happiest career any human being can ever follow is that of coaching because of the simple fact that you are sharing your happiness with others every single day. I mean, think about this for a second. I go into rooms all over Australia. We run live events in Australia and throughout the world. And I always ask this question. Can anyone tell me something that you can do in life that is guaranteed to make you fulfilled and inspired? 
All right, I want you to tell me one career that is guaranteed to make you fulfilled and inspired. And we test all kinds of careers. We test baristas, coffee making. We test laying electrical conduit in buildings. We test concreting, plastering, painting, acting, singing. I mean, we test all these careers in rooms of hundreds of people. And I ask them to raise their hand. Raise your hand if you're fulfilled and inspired by doing someone's accounts. And maybe five or six people raise their hand. Raise your hand if you're fulfilled and inspired by making coffee. And maybe 20 or 30 people raise their hand. Raise your hand if you're fulfilled and inspired by doing gardening. And maybe 50 or 60 people raise their hands. But not the entire room raises their hand all at the same time until I ask just one question and one question only. And it's this. Raise your hand if you like to sit down with people, share your advice and chat to them in a way that transforms their life. And everybody in the room raises their hand, everyone. Now this is surprising to people in the room to see a whole room of thousands of people raise their hand all at the same time. It's very surprising for people to experience that. I mean, think about it, all I asked is raise your hand if you feel fulfilled and inspired when you sit down with people, share your advice, provide information, have conversations with them that transform their lives. The fact is we all love that feeling. We love it. Nothing feels better than that. Sitting down with a friend and telling them something and watching the, the lights come on, sharing a piece of advice like you maybe just watched a movie or I don't know if you remember the first time you ever watched the movie The Secret and then you're telling all your friends about The Secret and they're like, whoa, this is the coolest thing ever. And they're applying it and they're starting to see it. I mean, the lights come on. Tell me you don't love seeing the lights come on when you're talking to your friends. So here's the thing. Coaching is doing that for a living. That's what it is. So I don't know if you've ever considered coaching before. I don't know if you've ever thought it through or something you'd want to do. But for me, there is no better way of experiencing happiness on planet Earth. There's no better way of being fulfilled and inspired every single day than having those light bulb moment conversations with your friends where they transform, where they free themselves, they liberate themselves of trapped emotions, of things that are limiting them in their lives, and they get clear on their full potential. They get rid of traumatic events from the past. They just get on track with doing what they love. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I, I, I know that for me, it was, a, it, was a, it was a game changer because I believe that happiness was a solo sport and it definitely is not. So if you're looking for more happiness, my advice is start by learning how to share that happiness and coaching is definitely one of those things that allows you to do that. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, comment down below and remember, happiness is not perfected until it is shared. I hope you enjoy this and until we meet again, share your light, live your love and do whatever it takes to be your own best friend. I'll see you soon.